Oh, so the fun fact that I found out. Did you know when translated, the Japanese kanji for penguin is business goose? I feel like I have to just... <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but I didn't remember it. <laughs> so still, fun. a phenomenal fun fact. Thank you. I appreciate it. expecting a penguin fact that good okay that made the day better <laughs> <laughs>
So I'm placing this, what I'm hoping is the very middle. It looks straight and in the middle to me. You tell me if I'm wrong. It looks middle-ish. Middle-ish, right? It looks, mi <laughs> looks middle-earth-ish. <laughs> Alright, so I just want to make sure right now that it's down as flat as I can get it. Also, th sorry, this is a little off-centered because Arlene was working on that. I was working on practicing staining. staining. So we kind of like set each other off, but we don't want to move the iron too much. So that's why it's there. And yeah, we've already we've with... already taped down its base to make sure it doesn't move. That was actually the first step was taped down the base on the on the package, which actually yeah. that's great because most people would not think to do that. Very so I'm true. glad they made it idiot proof. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this thing only, t uh, this board burner only takes about five minutes to warm up. So I'm going to switch that to the on position. Um, we were using it obviously earlier on the test piece, but I don't want to keep it on for too long because you can totally see some lovely discoloration, probably not on the camera, but right here, there's some discoloration from just the heat. So yeah, it, it's a very nice, like fire color. <laughs> And so now just take a pencil, pen, stylus, whatever, and then trace over your stencil and it'll leave an imprint of that graphite on the wood. So I'm going to start it. Also, if you hear any kind of background noise, it's fairly nice today. So the garage is open. I know. And we're letting right. in all the natural light and natural ambient sounds. Peel that off. It looks so pretty. Yeah. Look good. I think it looks good. Oh, right. it looks really good. Right? No, you can't really see. Focus. There you go. There you go. All right. Although now it will be upside down when we show it. Like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. There you go. Yeah, fun fact. The camera's actually <laughs> backwards. I did not I, ju I just 180 the, uh, the image when okay. editing, so it looks like it's... Bottom up, not top down. Yeah, that's a, that's actually really centered. I'm proud of it me. Is. <laughs> okay, so I'm obviously going to keep this actually right here just to reference. I didn't uh, like draw in the actual weight of the strokes, um, just because I find it's a little bit more difficult uh, that way. I'd rather just look at the reference to see how much I need for that particular stroke. So I have my test piece here to make sure that I still have the same. Test piece is the back oh. end. Well, I have my test piece here uh, to double make sure that I know <laughs> all the squiggles, all of them, because I kept doing it 5,000 different times, uh, to make sure that I am confident in my stroke. Yeah. This is not something you want to jump right into. Because so. I definitely noticed, um, I, again, the last the first last time I did this was about 12 years ago. Um, you definitely want to nice and slow firm pressure to build burn into the wood burn through that grain and get a nice consistent line there all right i think i'm ready <sighs> you got it the pressure okay hey 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 don't mess up okay look <laughs> <laughs> I think that's still pretty damn good. Right. Oh wait, awesome. I didn't did I do the oh I didn't do the last two markings. Oh, uh, okay. Whoopsie. That's fine. At least I noticed them before we gave it to them. Be yeah. like, oh, that's that's It's like that doesn't say anything. Yes it does. Roll for initial what? <laughs> Alright. I think we're good. Uh you know what? For my first real project with it, not bad. It's just those really long, straight strokes that are not perfectly straight. They're like on a, the mm -hmm. slightest curve through wood grain is kind of difficult. Yeah. Um, okay, so. But yeah, I'm not too mad at myself. Good job. Thank you. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to apply a light staining of uh, this oil-based colonial maple just to give it a bit of a darker color. Um, and all I'm going to need for it is a dragon. Have a, what did I do with my gloves? Oh, uh -huh. here they are. <laughs> and just gloves because I don't want to get stain all over my hand. Staining will get rid of my mm. crappy hand right <laughs> Now, I don't know if you have to actually shake stain or not, um, but I did anyway, just to be on the safe side. It's essentially like paint. Yeah, so. This is the stain, the colonial maple. And you just take a rag. Obviously, you can see this one I've used already a couple of times. <laughs> so I'm just going to take those spots. A little on the finger. Apply it and rub in. doesn't look like much is happening on the camera, but we promise you it is. Well, you can already see the di the difference yeah. in color. The only thing is, though, where the camera, for some reason, is switching between, like... Green. Kind of like a greenish and an orange. It's actually a very kind warm of warm... Warm cherry wood, I would call it. Here, let me take the tape off. Oh, yeah, that would be very helpful. I'm not worried about the bottom because I'm going to put a piece of foam there. I just don't know what color yet. I will have to check with... Don't ask Chelsea. She you should have know. the template right here. Yes, I do have the <laughs> template right there. So it may or may not be blue, but... If the color that goes in here is wrong, you can blame your sister. <laughs> or I'll just make you another one and put them on top. Or that, whichever. <laughs> See, that's an easy fix. That's not yeah. a So I'm not worried about the bottom there. And then just to wipe off the excess, find a nice clean piece of it. Just buff it in. Because this stain is supposed to take like eight hours to dry. But we're going to show you the final product in a moment. Here is the final result. Yay. The wood burning came out, honestly, I think very, very, very good. Thank you. I'm, for I'm like my worst critic, I know. <laughs> for like a 12 or 13 year of not doing it. Um, the stain came out very nice. It's not as dark as we wanted to go, but I didn't want to go too dark because I didn't want the it to get rid of the the actual wood burning itself. Personally, I think it's a really nice warm color. Yes, it's a it's a, it's almost like a light cherry. Uh, I, we also added some some footsies. some footsies for it, so you know it doesn't like mar up the thing. And while it's not in here yet, I am waiting for. Chelsea. Color confirmation. Yeah, I'm waiting for uh, Trogdor's sister, Stargal, to get back to me about what to put in. But just so to add to it, I'm going to put like a little thin layer of uh, foam at the bottom just to also cushion the bottom of it. So also it doesn't make too, too much rattling noise. So It's a good shock absorber. Yeah. I mean, it's not really something you can use for actual like, you know, like a dice tray or anything like that, which, by the way, I do make as well. But nice plug. It, thank you. <laughs> it could be used, but you know, it's really more for storage. Uh, this will hold about eight sets of dice, and I'm talking about the the four, six, eight, ten, twelve, seven, seven. twenty, and hundred die, or percentage die, whichever, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But it'll hold about eight sets of those, so it will definitely be a good amount that he can hold on to, especially being the DM. So. Dave, this is on your way to you. I hope you like it. You know, use it in good health. <laughs> use it in good health. I don't know. You're so precious. Roll for initiative. So precious. I hope the mic didn't pick that up. <laughs> it probably did. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. All right. And that's going to be it for this episode or video. So... 
I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the little dice container that I made. Or if you're interested in a dice tray, a dice container, or any kind of prop or nerf commission, please definitely shoot us an email. Um, email address is in the contacts page of our uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, that's what yeah, this thing is. It, it's, well, we, uh, we also have it in the yeah, description of each or, video. Or hit us up in the in the description we have we read all, all of our, our comments we, we look read at all the comments box. description has where to hit us up on social medias so you can always do that as mm. well and don't forget to click that little bell icon otherwise you may not know when we're doing our silliness here and oh god today we are silly yeah <laughs> yeah it's a good start to the year i think yes it is yeah. so again thank you all very much for watching we'll see you guys next time Bye. later Bye.